Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on like one of my favorite vehicles in the world, man. When I say to you, like you say, well, Tone, of course, everybody loves a Hummer. Yeah, people love a Hummer, but they don't know why they love a Hummer. I'm gonna tell you why a Hummer is legendary. I'm gonna show you a couple things about it that you may or may not have known. These are very different animals, man. You can say, well, I got this bad four-wheel drive pickup or fad four-wheel drive SUV, and I've done this, this, and this. You can do this, this, and this all you want, but you're never gonna get to this place. And it starts with the underneath of these things. You look underneath here, we're gonna take a quick shot of that, right? And you're gonna see it's absolutely nothing hanging down. And there's a reason why, I'm gonna show you the technical details of that. The yellow paint, spectacular. The rims look so good on here. If you want stock rims, you can probably find a set of those, or maybe we can source those for you. These are just a little bigger set of them, uh, a little bigger tire, and uh, it just fills the wheel wells so great. Then, look at some other stuff. These things here, like uh, the brush guard, the roof rack, uh, this guard here, the, the PL lights. There is a lot of money spent on this vehicle, and it is well taken care of. It's been serviced, and it is beautiful, and it's the second generation of these, so they're much better, right? The engine is much more powerful. The transmission is much smoother, and it's really very, very friendly. Lastly, when we uh, get inside, uh, we do this for a lot of people. If you want to change the cloth interior to leather, leather no big deal. They sell leather uh, seat covers in place of the cloth, and we'll just take the cloth off. We'll stitch new seat covers on there. We can embroider it with... Uh, uh, H1 in the headrest if you like as well. That's a finishing touch that a lot of people like to do. But some people like cloth, so we've kind of left it at this point here so you can decide what you like. All right, so take a look at the baddest four-wheel drive vehicle you have out there. Ford, Chevy, Ram, whatever. All great vehicles, all capable of going in serious places. This is another level of that. And let me tell you why when I say that. In those vehicles there, the pumpkins hang down for the front differential and the rear differential. No matter how much tire you put on there, it can only come up so high. If we look here, this is completely flat under here. Nothing's hanging down. Well, how is that possible? I'm going to show you how it's possible. Those components uh, have been moved up here. And the reason they're able to do that is because of these right here. Those are portal axles. Portal axles, instead of the axle going in the center of the wheel, they move the axle up here, which allows the whole drivetrain to be moved up inside the vehicle. Okay. Also, there's a gear set in each hub, which doubles the torque. So these don't have to make a lot of horsepower and torque because, they, uh, because it gets doubled here. But the point of the matter is this second generation turbo makes way more power than before. Look at the size of this control arm. Everything in here, man, is like heavy duty. From the winch up front, lights, brush guard. It's just a serious assault vehicle. And this look is what people see in their rear view mirror. It's like, ah! You don't really realize how big and wide these are. The reason they're so wide is that keeps you, uh, the wider cars, that's why sports cars, the wider they are, the better they handle. The narrower, uh, obviously like, like a motorcycle, moves around a lot. This is nice for fording uh, things. This has a standard uh, water fording system in it. You can add a snorkel system here to pick up up to two feet extra of fording for something like something ridiculous. I'm gonna spout off some number uh, and sound like a dummy. But anyway, let's open this up and check it out. Good. Let's see what this all this fuss is about. Okay, this is a great part about this vehicle. Keep in mind that almost all the components in here are GM parts, so they're really inexpensive. This has a GM turbo diesel in it, right? GM air conditioning compressor, power steering unit, uh, their heavy duty uh, transmission that's in it. Huge fans in here. I would even consider maybe switching this fan over to an electric fan. Uh, that way uh, you'd have dual electric fans, and, uh, but that's up to you dual batteries in here, everything has backup, everything has redundancy, right? Everything is here. Look at the size of the air filter. It's even sealed to keep the water out. So if you got in the water, uh, this is designed to uh, uh, keep going. I don't, I don't know how deep you can go in water, but I've seen them go in uh, all the way up over the hood uh, in videos. <sighs> wow, <laughs> that sounds so cool. All right, so I look around like everything is heavy duty in here. Look at the size of these tow hooks. I mean, there's everything is serious. Uh, this is kind of cool because I'd, like I'd like you to hear this. There's nothing tinny about this vehicle. These uh, pins go right here. Hold that open. And then check this out. There is so much room in here. They also sell uh, a seat here. So if you had kids and something like that, they sell a bench seat that goes in here. This center part, uh, you can take that out if you want to as well. They also sell a seat for the middle part right there. If you wanted to put a seat there and leave this open, maybe you want to take it to the beach or whatever. You, let me just tell you something. I've taken these to uh, the Outer Banks all the way to the very end. Nothing 
is better than sitting in the sand watching these people in their four-wheel drives try to make it up the hill and go in there while you're just sitting here just watching it all just kind of unfold knowing that there's nothing nothing's going to hold you back from getting out of that beach and doing your thing it's just awesome look at this thing from behind man it's just massive all right so come join me inside here because this is uh, very interesting so a lot of people don't know why uh, these are like this and i'll show you why when we talked about the front end, uh, meaning that the engine and everything uh, wasn't hanging down, that's because it's pushed up in here. And that's what's right underneath here is the engine, transmission, transfer cases, and things like that. This is set up for a satellite system. If you wanted to do uh, satellite, maybe you want to go camping and want a satellite, this has uh, some parts already built in. A storage rack here uh, with cup holders built in, or you can make uh, a bench seat. They have a, a seat, like I mentioned, that they sell for that. Most everything else is stock in here, man. This has the original monsoon sound system, which was an option, and a full array of gauges. Obviously, this is designed for the driver, but in these uh, civilian versions here, you have air conditioning front and rear. Uh, heating uh, is pretty massive. Two fuel tanks, right? You got a, a, a large main tank and a reserve tank. You got power mirrors and lights and uh, cruise control. A lot of the things that uh, maybe you would expect in a, a pretty exotic sport utility, but the fact of the matter is, not only is this an exotic sport utility price-wise, uh, when they were new, it's uh, exotic because it can virtually go anywhere, and that's uh, and it's great. So comfort-wise, you got plenty of room. Passenger over there does, everybody's got their stuff, and there's tons and tons of room uh, for taking your uh, stuff to the beach. This is a super low production exotic. We're talking about building less than a thousand of these a year. Remember, these are really expensive. The last run of them were 150 grand for one of these, right? This is low mileage, great looking. Uh, we also talked about doing the interior. If you wanted to do leather, I thought it would be kind of cool if you wanted. We could do gray seats with uh, yellow piping uh, that would match the outside of the car. I think that might be kind of cool. Whatever, if you like cloth, no big deal. I just throw that stuff out there to let you know that it is available, all right? And uh, lastly, uh, what else to say other than, wow, this is an amazing vehicle and uh, uh, you can go almost virtually anywhere. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, Hummer H1. And uh, don't forget, if you don't mind, share this video with your friends if you would like it. And uh, we're going to go for a little test drive here. Make sure you do that. And I'd love to hear the stories about you. Maybe you were in the military and uh, these maybe saved your life or saved some friends' life. I would love to hear that because uh, I'm a big fan of that. And this is a very different version than the military version. This is very comfortable and very, uh, very luxurious like compared to uh, the, you know, stripped down versions like that. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.